All right, guys, we got this. Let's go. Good white trip speed. Control next go. On one, on one. Ready? Go. Right. What's up, guys? It's Pick'em with Huddle GG, and in today's video, I'm going to be going over a tip on the defensive side of the ball that I like to use when my opponent is in the red zone area, specifically when it's goal-to-go situation. Okay, so by goal-to-go, I just mean when the down and distance is second and goal or third and goal, something like that. Okay, now, like I said, this is something that I personally like, and I've been running it a lot lately, and have been really able to force my opponent into a lot of field goals and a lot of turnovers using this. So uh, the great thing about this is it's actually universal where we can use different plays for this and we can also use a variety of different formations. All right now I am going to show you here in this video the one that I like and that is going to be out of the big nickel over G formation and it's going to be cover two. OK, the reason I like big nickel over G is because it has the safeties um, who already have the adjustments for the outside third and I don't have to put any specific package in to do so. OK, so what do I mean by that is when we come out on our play. Again, when you go to your safeties, you have these adjustments that can now be put on the outside third. This is something I've taught in the past, uh, and it's something that you can use in other formations like nickel and that, but you do need to go to a strong safety or free safety nickel or strong safety inside package um, to get those. Okay, but in big nickel, these are the stock adjustments, and you'll see here our adjustment we're going to make is we're going to put the left safety in an outside third to the left. We're going to put the right safety in an outside third to the right. OK, all that really is doing for us is it's really helping cover that back corner of the end zone, right? Where if we're in a deep half here on the left, you see where the middle of that dark blue zone is for Sandcastle here. Uh, if we go to an outside third, you see how it's more wide and closer to that sideline, right? So that's what we want. And typically when I teach this, what I'm going to do is I put this mid read in a deep middle third, right? In this situation, since we are in goal to go situations, I do want to user this player. OK, so what we're going to do now, other than putting those safeties back, is we're going to play the sticks. OK, so play the sticks is Y on Xbox and LB on PlayStation it would be triangle and L1. And what play the sticks is going to do is it's going to have all of our underneath zone defenders drop to the goal line. OK, now, obviously, if it's not second and goal, they're going to drop to wherever that first down marker is. Right. But now that it's second and goal, third and goal, something like that. Playing the sticks is going to have these underneath defenders. So your light blues, your yellows, your pinks and purple zones, uh, they're going to drop to this goal line and really just play here. OK, this is going to be a really good coverage shell to force everything underneath and then allow us to rally and make the tackle. OK, the only other adjustment I like to make is I will drop a defensive tackle into a QB spy. Now, if you are doing that, make sure you do blitz your user just because I do like to have four people technically blitzing at all times. Uh, but we're still going to be playing this area of the field here. OK, so you'll see when our opponent says hike, we're just going to sit right here on the goal line and watch these crossers pass them off to the next zone. And we're just going to wait for our pass rush to get in and make that sack on the quarterback. Right. We're not going to get quick pressure with this specifically when we're sending three people. If you're sending four, sometimes you'll get in a lot quicker. Uh, but with three people, we're really just forcing them to make a bad read, right? You see here, the QB spy takes away that tight end quick on the drag um, and everything else. You see those five underneath defenders back there, right? They're all on the goal line, right? Obviously, our user is about a step or two into the end zone. But that is, again, our user, our responsibility is just to take away those crossers going uh, to that area. But you see the other four defenders there on the goal line just really sitting there and waiting for anything, right? Here, the only thing they can throw is the tight end drag or the running back check down, which, again, like I said, our goal is to force them to check down and then we're going to rally and make the tackle. Now, the reason that I'm OK doing this is let's say they threw it to the running back there and they got a few yards, right? So now they're the five or the six. We're going to do the same exact thing, right? I'm going to do this and I do do this in games until my opponent proves to me that they can stop this and really or not stop this, but they can prove that they can attack this correctly. Right. So again, we're going to get here. We're going to play the sticks. We're going to drop our D tackle into a QB spy. And now we're just going to play at this area of the field. Right. But you now see how those guys are still in that same area playing the sticks. And it's going to, again, just allow that pressure to get in um, and really force your opponent into these bad reads or check downs. Right. And that's really what we're trying to make them do. Right. You see here again, now that we're closer, though, that drag's not as open with the tight end. Right because we have our underneath defenders playing closer, obviously because it's less yardage to go to that goal line, right? Same thing with the running back. Once the running back goes out on his route, 
Again, if he catches that, he maybe gets a yard, whereas when we're at the 10, he can get three, four yards, right? So you can just see the coverage shell is going to be very consistent uh, and a very safe coverage shell for you uh, as long as you have a good user over the middle of the field, right? You have to take those crossers going around, going along that back line of the end zone, okay? Now, like I said, you can do this out of different coverages as well. So if we go to a cover three, you can still play sticks here. But the reason I don't like cover three as much is we just don't have as many players that are going to be playing to that um, goal line area, right? In a cover two, we're going to have five underneath zones plus a QB spy if we put it on the field. So we have six defenders underneath. Uh, cover three is only going to have four defenders, and then we could make it five with a QB spy. Right, so just numbers wise, we're going to have more underneath defenders if we are playing a cover two style shell. OK, so that is the only reason I like cover two over cover three or cover four um, here uh, in this style of play in the red zone. Right. And again, one more time, we're just going to put those safeties in outside thirds. We're going to play the sticks. We are going to blitz our user if we're dropping a D tackle into um, a QB spy. If we were not um, dropping him into a QB spy, you can blitz him, but you can also leave him on a zone. Uh, that does not matter. Uh, but again, I do like to drop him into a QB spy. So I will blitz the user just to get those four rushers. And then we're just sitting over the middle of the field waiting for these crossers. Now, if you ever do want, you can click the right stick in and have that QB spy come in and make it more hectic in the pocket for your opponent. OK, so if you feel like, hey, he's had enough time there in the pocket, just make sure you click that right stick in. Uh, and you can see here right when we click the right stick in that QB spy right over the middle start sprinting down there towards the quarterback and it's really going to help collapse that pocket as well okay but again here you see there's nowhere to throw the ball uh, again they can try to check it down to this running back that is going to be their only option and we're going to again like i said it's going to really force your opponent into taking three uh, but again you will get people to make bad reads quite often and then you're going to be able to turn um, their drive into zero points and you'll be on the offensive side if you've made it to the end of this video Odds are you're serious about becoming a better Madden player, and we're here to help. On our website at huddle.gg, $9.95 a month unlocks all of our full game plans created by some of the best Madden players in the world. You'll also have access to our private Discord, where Madden pros will answer your questions and help take your game to the next level. Have a great day.